Hello! So the theme today are some fun sweaters. We're going to be drawing the outline of a sweater and then you get to decide how you want to fill it up. And I love these examples because they have different themes. Now, of course, they're sweaters, so I think of winter things. So I'm looking at this with the little snowmen and then this little fuzzy sweater here with the little sheep because it's probably made out of what? What do the sheep produce? Wool. So this might be a woolly sweater. So which one do you think is my favorite though? The art sweater. I love it. So you can do any kind of theme to it and it doesn't have to be winter theme like how you have the art music, you have this Western one, it could be patterns and designs. So we're gonna be using some repeating patterns for sure. Even in the art and music one, you can see the pencils are repeating on the sleeve and we're gonna use different lines and shapes, but I'm gonna help you begin the shape of the outline. So we're gonna use these as a little guide. I'm gonna have these up here and I've got two different sizes of paper just to kind of show you how it will look on the two sizes, like so. And I'll do them both a little bit differently and you might be doing them even more different than me. So I'm gonna draw them at the same time. The first thing I like to start with is the collar. And you can do sort of a rounded collar, you can make it even more V-shape, you could do it a little bit more square, like if you had a Minecraft themed sweater, maybe you'd be going down, over, and up. That'd be pretty cool. So I'm gonna start off now, this one's a smaller paper, so I'm gonna go a little bit smaller like I'm doing a little smile, right? And then this one would be a little bit bigger. So you wanna fill the paper up. And you can add a background too, which is really cool. You can add a border, and I'll show you some things like that. So now we think about our shoulders, and when you draw like your neck and your shoulders, the shoulders go out, right? So I'm first gonna make a little place for my collar. This one will be a little bit thicker to have my design. Then the shoulders go out like so. And again, I'm filling this whole page up however big your paper is. And you might be doing this on colored paper. So now I'm going to get the sleeves and they're going to come down so they fit in here. So I'm going to go down pretty far. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. Just like so. Whoopsies. And then here I'm going to do the same thing. Just like that. And then I wanna have the bottom of the sleeve here. So I'm gonna do a little curved line, just like that neckline. This one, let's see, I'm gonna go a little bit straighter. And then you're gonna have your little bottom part here. And sometimes those are a little bit smaller, so they're tighter. So I'm gonna go a little bit smaller here. And then this one's gonna be about the same width as the sleeve. And then I'm gonna come up to about these spots are where you're gonna and have that sleeve kind of stop. And you can make them puffier, like this one might be a little bit puffier, kind of comfy sweater there. And then I just have to do the bottom part. And if it, if your arms are so close in, if I try to squeeze in the middle part, it would look kind of um, too skinny and awkward. So I'm actually just gonna make the bottom connect there and I'm done, right? And then this one, if I wanna show that little gap, I can go down like this and come up. So it's kind of how you draw it. Then you've got the bottom part, and this is a great place to have pattern too. So I'm gonna add a little extra space here, and this one goes behind. All right, so now it's the fun time to add your pattern. And when I look at these, one thing I notice on some of them is like this, they match the stripes in the collar to down here to here. So you could do that. Here they're thinking about art. Okay, so art's gonna have the drippy paints and things like that. Here you've got, they've sectioned it off into stripes. So just to give you an idea of how you could start is you could start by making different sections and I'm gonna make stripes of different widths. So I wanna have, this is gonna be maybe my winter scene and then I have a little place for pattern. Then I might have another place for some winter things and then this can be pattern. This one is maybe gonna have more, instead of it breaking up into stripes, maybe it's gonna have another way that it's gonna have a design. So maybe instead I'm gonna have an image in the middle and then, let's see, I'm almost thinking I could radiate this out like so and then maybe put some little wavy stripes here. Just to show you some different ways that you can break it up. And then maybe on this one, I'm gonna start off with my pattern of zigzag and I'm gonna have that repeat. 
So there's a lot of repetition in your lines and shapes to create patterns. And you can use whatever lines and shapes. So here, if I was doing a winter one, I might go in and draw my winter scene. Here, if I'm doing a topic of something that I like, like art or whatever you're into, you might be putting that there, a character there, or um, maybe something with sports related. And then you could have little images here or patterns or designs. Once you finish the drawing, then you can decide about the background. So this is winter themed. So my background is gonna be a pattern of fancy snowflakes. And you might have seen some snowflakes before. I start with an X and I draw another line. And I'm just gonna show you a few ways I do my snowflakes. It's pretty simple. I use letters of the alphabet. So here I made it cross like T's, right? This one, I'm just gonna add an O to each end piece. Here, I'm gonna add a V. Now to make fancy snowflakes, sometimes when you look at a really fancy snowflake and think, oh, I couldn't draw that, but really you just combine the letters of the alphabet. So here, I'm just gonna add a V to my O's. It looks like little excited people. And then here, I'm gonna add a V as well, except it's gonna be upside down, like little mountains. And I'm just do the same thing. If you can do one V, you just have to do six. Here, I might add in just a double V. And it already looks really fancy, right? So what a fun way to do a background. And then I can add some snow falling down that creates a pattern as well, like polka dots. So I would fill this all up. Now this one, I wish I'd drawn it a little bit smaller because that'd be really fun to have a border, but I can still do that. It's just gonna be a skinny border. Could you do a ruler for this? Sure, but guess what? I don't want it to look like it was printed out on a computer. I want to look like I drew it, so it's not going to be perfect. And then if I had some patterns in here, like let's say I had a pattern of skinny stripe, thick stripe, skinny stripe, thick stripe, um, I could repeat that pattern as my border and it would go all the way around and it would tie in, let me do this, I'll go in this direction, it would tie in with the pattern here. So I love having that matching pattern. And if this were, let's say an art theme, I could do the paint splotches in the background. So what if I had little splatters of paint coming off the edges, and then I had my art theme in there, just like this art sweater. Am I copying this sweater that I see in the image? No, I'm getting ideas from it. You can take ideas from the different things that you see or maybe patterns that you have at home, and you make it your own piece of artwork. The last thing to remember is when you go into color, I want you to take your time. Now, I was thinking for this one that I would use all cool colors. So I've got a huge variety here of the things that I have at home, some markers, some color pencils, some crayons, and I would use these cool colors, blues, oranges, and greens, to color very carefully into my sweater. Now, I could do like the background, since you'd think that would be blue, right? With blue sky, snowflakes. But what if I did this sunset colors? So if these were all pinks, oranges, yellows, reds, this was all warm colors back here, and then my sweater was in cool colors, it's really gonna have good contrast. Now for this one, since it's gonna be art, I'd probably be using a ton of colors here. So maybe I'll make this background part just black and white so my sweater pops out and it doesn't get too, too, rainbowy all over and I lose that the sweater is my big focus. So good luck drawing your sweaters. They could be fun, they could be fancy, they could be ugly, they could be kooky or tacky or whatever you want to make your sweater. You are the designer. Good luck.